I did manage to pick some up. Uh, not a lot. I did kill a number of scorpions, so that was fun. Thank you, Nightmare, for the big poop that's going to roll off the deck here. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's uh, time to do something else on our to-do list. I don't think I'm going to hit a cave right now because one thing I'm running into is whenever I want to do craft any really cool stuff, I'm running out of uh, cementing paste, so I want to make more cementing paste. Now I took uh, the frog. The frog is an interesting critter. Um, if you kill bugs with the frog, uh, here's Toad, uh, he will actually harvest straight up cementing paste. I took him out on Nightmare, didn't film that, but I took him out on Nightmare to, I was looking for bugs, and I didn't know any great places for bugs, but I landed where there were a couple of the uh, dragonfly type bugs, and uh, killed them, and as I was harvesting their bodies, I was picking up gobs of cementing paste, but not a lot, and I don't know exactly where there's a lot of bugs, so I'm thinking I need an alternative way uh, to get a lot of chitin and keratin to make a lot of cementing paste, and um, previously what I've done is I've gone out to the North Island and killed scorpions, and yeah, that works. That's great. But uh, I did a little checking, and the, apparently the best uh, creature for killing uh, things that have chitin and keratin and harvesting them is a saber-toothed tiger. And that is on our to-do list. It's on our to-do list. So I figured we could probably knock something off our to-do list, uh, which is, uh, I think I have a couple. Yeah, saber tooth pair. I'm not sure I'm going to do a pair. saber tooths take Bronto egg kibble. And I had 11 Bronto eggs, so I went ahead and did, did up 11 kibble. And it's left over from that, just for me to munch on. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do a pair. Uh, reason being that um, I'm not sure I'm going to take them in any boss battles, so having them mate boosted isn't necessarily going to do me any good. And um, I they don't lay eggs, so I don't care if it's male or female. I don't need a mated pair for in the future if they ever fix the egg laying. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go after a high level now, and I might add a pair, a, a mate, later if I think it's going to do any good. But... I think I'm just going to go look for a really high-level saber tooth tiger of, of any type, of any gender at this point. And um, I got my taming gear, uh, meaning I got my crossbow with my uh, my taming arrows. I, I tried using the uh, tranquilizer darts. They're just so expensive, and they just break the long rifle so fast. I think the wear and tear on that is just way too high. I think they, they balance that for a, a PvP, player versus player server, I think, to make it so that you can't trank people you know, with, with high torpidity at, at long distance um, very rapidly. They wanted to make sure that you paid a price with their gun breaking down, I guess. Uh, PVE, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but, you know, it is what it is. So I've got my uh, narcotics on here. I've got uh, extra arrows. Uh, I repaired up the crossbow before I went, and I've got the kibble. And I can always get prime, no problem, if I if I if the kibble won't do it. So I think what I'm going to do now is head on out and either check here first in the cold since I'm geared for cold right now, and see if I can find a nice high-level saber tooth I can tame here. If not, I think I'm going to head to the North Island because there's always plenty of them there. So I'm going to go find one, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Um, no luck on the mountain, so I went to the North Island and uh, circled around here, and I found a whole bunch of saber tooth of low level. The only one I found decent level, so far this is the hottest one I found, is 42 right here. So I've cleared this island of all the predators, as you can see. With Nightmare, I killed uh, everything I could find on this little little island. And now I'm going to tame this guy. Now, I can't pick him up with an RG. I'm not level 80 yet, so I can't use Birdie to pick him up. So this is going to be a good old-fashioned tame out in the field, wild tame of a nasty predator. Let's see if I can hit him from here and get his attention. I did get him. Cool. Seems to be a little preoccupied, and that's good. Eating one of the things I killed. One of his brothers, I think. Sure hope these are still hitting. I didn't pay attention to the angle I did last time. <laughs> when I actually got the music to play. But we'll see. Um, I think I'll begin taming this guy. And, um... Yeah, I'm actually hurting him pretty well, so... Uh, tame this guy, and uh, as he's taming, I think I might, uh, it's dangerous to leave a tame here, because the other predators will spawn and kill it. There he goes. He's down. Um, I said I was going to tame and maybe look to see if there's a higher level one, but I think I'll finish him first, and then see if there's a higher level one. Now, it's dangerous, because I might use up all of my kibble on him, 
which I definitely don't want to do. I'm still getting the music playing, which is not good. There it goes. Whew, don't like that. All right. What do we got for kibble? Picked up a couple of blueprints on the way as well. Um, he's Yeah, I heard him quite a bit, didn't I? Level 42. Okay. Let's get a little bit of narc, just in case. I've started on my tames not using narcotic as little as possible because I think that the, the eff effectiveness is reevaluated and goes down every time they eat and feeding them, forcing them narcotic actually counts as an eat, I think, which can actually reduce the effectiveness of the tame. So I think it's, you get your perfect tames when you use your kibble or something that, that will tame them up pretty fast without ever having to use narcotics on them. So I'm going to hold off as long as possible uh, to use narcotics on him. And I don't want to leave the island right now. I mean, there's plenty of things, or there were plenty of things here to get prime. In fact, I think there probably still are. Yeah, right here, here, for instance. Um, and he's going to expire. Oh, oh, five seconds. Better get the one prime I got from him. Put that on, even though he's, the kibble's going to do far better. and It'll exp definitely spoil before the kibble's ready, so... That's the only danger here, is I'm going to have to leave to get Prime if I need to. And that is really dangerous right here, because as long as you're on this this stretch of the North Island here, this little island, no other bad guys will spawn here. If you've killed them all, they won't spawn here. But as soon as you leave, as soon as you fly to that, the, just just really right over the water to the, to the next major island, uh, they'll start spawning. And that's really dangerous. So I don't, I didn't bring the saddle with me stupidly. So when I tame him, I think I'm going to put him, lead him over to the North Island uh, uh, gate, to the North Island cave that we were exploring last uh, couple of episodes ago, and stick him in there uh, while I go fetch his saddle and probably fetch the ferry as well because I can't pick him up. So the best way to get him back would be to ferry him. So I'll probably bring the ferry over as well, and then I'll, uh, I'll after I tame him, I'll, I'll train him up a bit here. And try to get as much uh, keratin and chitin as I can as well. So it'll be a lot of fun. But anyway, I'll be back as soon as this team starts to progress. Oh, you just saw it, folks. There is the first bite. Wow. Plus 20 levels. It's great 62. But that taming, that's, that's three kibble and he's gone. He's tamed. So I'm going to not take any chances. Uh, leave the other two kibbles in here that he's going to need. And yeah, there's no way... He'll need more than two kibbles to tame, so this is great. So anyway, I'll be back as soon as he's done. He's back. He's back, and he's tamed. And, oh, wow, I'm horrible with names. I haven't even thought of a name for a cat. However, I did have once have a cat, and his name was Sammy. So we'll call him Sammy. Hello, Sammy. <laughs> No narco required. Three kibble was all it took, so we can definitely get another higher level one if we can find one. Uh, 715 health, yeah. Uh, weight's fine. Melee damage, yeah. Movement speed, at least it's above 100. That's pretty cool. Um, instead of leading him back to the uh, cave entrance, because, you know, I didn't have a lot of luck leaving animals in the cave before. And even though I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine just inside the entrance, because I don't think that's actually, you know, kind of the funked up mesh of the uh, of the cave map. I still don't want to take any chances. So I'm just building a tiny little pen for him here. <laughs> hoping he will fit in it. Um, but I'm just putting up a... I'm going to lead him over here. Come on over here, Sammy. Come on. Just inside the pen, please. Hopefully he'll fit completely in here. Um, doesn't look like he will. So let me, um, let me make it just a little bit longer. Tell you to stop right now, Sammy. Just stay right where you are. Let's pick up uh, a few more stones and some more wood. I'm going to have to make, uh, what am I have to make? Uh, two more walls, another ceiling, and another stone fence foundation. Okay, follow me again. Sammy, come on this way a little bit. All right, perfect, perfect. Stay right where you are. You will fit in here nicely, Sammy. Nicely, I say. I'm going to be demolishing this thing anyway, so I don't really care what angle these guys are in. And I hope these ceilings will actually place. 
Of course not. Um, so we're going to need pillars to place. Right? And I just threw away all that stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is. Pick all that stuff up as fast as I can. All right. Uh, let's make one pillar. Should be sufficient. Hope it encloses them safely. I just don't want them to die because as soon as I leave, there's going to be massive T Rexes and all sorts of things spawning here, which is not going to be fun. Cool. I put it right in the center. See that little? Those little gaps are worrying me. But oh well. Try the ceiling. We should be able to put another one right here, no problem. And then a wall right here. That's interesting. It attached to the ceiling and not the, the foundation. <laughs> well, that's that's kind of clever, huh? Didn't even need the foundations. Actually, just one pillar, a couple of ceilings, and a whole bunch of walls would have been sufficient. Anyway, I'm hoping. He is on attacking target, which is the same as neutral. So I'm hoping he'll be safe here. I'm going to fly back on Nightmare, get the saddle, get the uh, Fauna Fairy, and head back. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay? Bye-bye. And welcome back. I'm almost to the island. Uh, one little problem, though. I left both Fauna Fairies <laughs> at the staging area by the Red Tower. So I'm using uh, Mobile One here, my oil platform. Uh, it has no ramps, so I'm, <laughs> after I rescue uh, our new saber-toothed tiger, Sammy, I'm going to have to build some ramps. But uh, I'm almost to the island, as I said. And uh, it's unfortunately a big fog has started to roll in now all of a sudden. That's going to be awesome. As soon as I get close enough, I'm going to, uh, that I think I won't have any more respawns if, if I go fetch the, the, the Mobile One platform. I'm going to hop on uh, Nightmare, fly over, kill everything that's there, and uh, hopefully be able to rescue Sammy. I sure hope he hasn't been attacked in there. Uh, with those cracks, I know that they, dinos, wild dinos, t do tend to attack, or at least try to attack through cracks and, and openings like that. Uh, I've had a number of them, of raptors, try to do that at the uh, Red Tower, at the staging area. Uh, those little tiny gaps underneath the... Uh, the behemoth doors, I've had raptors, you know, all of a sudden the combat music, the, the fighting music will start. And I have no idea what it is. And it's, it's a raptor on the outside kind of trying to gnaw its way underneath the, the gate at the animals that are inside. So uh, I sure hope that hasn't happened here. We're almost to the little island, which is this back one here with the big rock on it. All right. looks like we're lucky. I don't think anything is over here attacking. And we're definitely close enough now. So I'm going to go take Nightmare out. Yep, he's still there. Sammy's still fine. Oh, Scorpion just decided to come by and say hello. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. And I think I got zapped by his venom. I sure did. Let's take a couple of these. Ooh, I got a pretty good hit from him, too. Now we got a couple Carnos. And let's take them out. That's something by the it box, it sure is, a scorpion, a couple of them. I need to take them out pretty quickly, too. Oh, I'm getting hit by more of these guys' venom, so... Take some more stem berries. Okay, fortunately, animals don't have to drink. Don't have to worry about uh, the thirst effects. Alright, what do we got here? I wish this fog would lift, so I could see for sure if there's anything hidden around here. Let's take a quick look. Okay, there's another cat. What level are you, buddy? 22, nothing compared to what I have. There's something over here. A couple Carnos, okay. All right, now it's a great time to save the game. Thank you for freezing on me. It's awesome. Wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't that uh, for the fact that you have a momentary bit of time when whatever direction you were moving, you continue moving in that direction, which is really nasty if you're in a situation where you could fall into the water or fall off a cliff or something. When that little jitter happens as it saves, you can uh, get into a lot of trouble. All right. Uh, 22. I sure hope the other one I killed was in a higher level. I didn't even check the level. 
I've noticed that a, a, a Quetzal is spawning here, which is kind of cool, actually. You think about it. Okay, we got a lot of dead. Carnos. I think we're good. All right, we have to build a ramp, so let's go ahead and just build the ramp now. Didn't even think to build the, bring the supplies to do that, sadly. I think one ramp will do us just fine. So a little bit of fiber and we'll be good to go. Okay. Ramp. Uh, that not, it's not filtering. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. Weird. Do they all have RAM in them? Really? <laughs> it didn't look like anything changed when I did that. That's interesting. Okay. Um, can I build another ramp? I can't build another ramp, can I? No. Didn't think so. I was just curious in case I needed one. Um, all right. We're going to take Nightmare out here. Drive right up to the shore. Okay, put my ramp in here. Do to do to do to do to do. Yeah, I'm not going to need any more ramps, so that's good. So I'll just dump all this stuff. Got my Let's demolish that. I'll actually kind of leave this here. I might need it sometime in the future. Who knows? So we'll go ahead and put the saddle on. And I brought the glass, uh, some glasses. Why did I? It helps if I bring up his inventory, wouldn't it? I brought some saddle glasses, Dino glass skins, because I just like glasses on dinos. It's cool. It's funny. And here we go. All right. All right. So I have a way to get him up here. And that's cool. I'm not going to actually take him yet. I'm going. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. He's hungry. All right, Tammy. Gotcha. I'm actually going to move offshore. Come on. See, this is where it gets tricky. Because I, I want to play with Sammy on shore. But I want to leave Nightmare in a safe place. And Sammy isn't a great swimmer. Well, he might be a decent swimmer. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just take him on here with me. There we go. I'll do that. Take him on here. Oh, I know what it is. Of course. I'll leave Nightmare inside the gate. The dino gate that I built for the cave. And then I'll be able to run Sammy around and kill whatever I want and have a lot of fun. So let's do that. Let's move this over here. There's that T-Rex. Oh, level four. Let's go see what we can do to a level... Oh, there's a raptor too. Please tell me that's not an alpha raptor. Nope. Rick, oh, is that an alpha? Hang on. It is. Alpha raptor level four. Holy crap. I'm not sure I really want to fight him. Wow. Alpha raptor. What do you know? Just my luck. Let's fight a Rex. Got to test your middle. Come on, Sam. You got to test your middle. Let's take on the Rex. Let's do this. All right. We're running away. I'm not even absolutely certain that that's not a uh, alpha. I don't get any cloud effects because I'm playing single player. You don't get the, the cloud effects for alphas on single player. All you can tell is they either are white with red dots or they're red with white dots. <laughs> That's how you tell alphas in single player. He's coming for me. <laughs> um, I don't think he's an alpha. I'm pretty sure. All right, I'm 
to fight him anyway. Okay, he's really hurt. He is really, really, really hurt. This is not good. I'm just going to run him away. See if I can get away from this guy. There he is. What are you? You're just a regular old Rex. Ugh. Cat. I guess I'm going to have to kill all the Rexes with Nightmare. The cat is just not strong enough to deal with them. So I'm going to have to train him with smaller stuff first. And then move up to the big things. So we're also going to deal with that Alpha here in a second. Is that him over there with the birds? No, that's just a regular raptor, although regular raptors hang out around alphas as well. Yeah, there's the alpha. Whoop, almost landed right in front of him. He is by the other alpha, by the other raptor. Right there, right in front of us. Alpha Raptor level 4. If you're wondering, like I said, multiplayer, I've said once multiplayer, uh, you get a cloud, a red cloud around them. In single player, you do not. It's just a function of single player. You don't get them. You have to notice the alphas because they're usually red or they're solid white with red markings on them, uh, one way or the other. So that is an Alpha Raptor level 4. There is no way I cannot take him with Nightmare. Nightmare is fully healed. Uh, does Nightmare have any meat? Yeah, Nightmare's got meat on her. In case I need to heal up. So this should not be a problem. Let me just dump all the excess I don't need. And I wish I was near home so I could cook up all the uh, prime I'm about to get, but oh well. All right, come on, Mr. Alpha, let's go. You cannot pick up an Alpha. The secret to fighting an Alpha on an Argentavis is, is coming in at the right angles. Um, and just go up a little ways and the alpha will run away from you so come in from behind or or even from the front but usually from behind is the best but the alpha can outspin you that's the problem you can't spin and turn quick enough to really kill it so i've found it's best to come in from behind get a few good hits in and then maybe battle them a little while longer but then as soon as you, you get in a spin fight it's time to pull away like that it's time to pull away he got a few good licks in although i'm pretty sure he's hurt pretty bad so We'll fly this way a little bit, get him to move, come towards me, then get bored, as alphas do. Alphas are crazy, frenetic creatures that get bored really easily. All right, I'm not going to worry too much about Nightmare's health until he gets to half health. He's not there yet. He's close, but he's not there. He is bloody. The, the alphas do a number on you. That's why you really shouldn't go for the high level ones at all. I've lost too many animals going after high levels. Thank you for the game save. Alright, at least I wasn't attacking it at that point in time. Alright, this should be it, I think. This should probably kill him. Yep, there he is. Alpha Raptor killed. There's a lot of prime meat on an Alpha Raptor too, by the way. Let's kill this tree so I can get in here. There it goes. Um, so what did it say? It was 35 on the last chunk, but there was a whole bunch of prime before that as well. So there's a lot of prime there, and I can't do anything with it. Too far away from home. It's going to expire long before I get there, so just time to dump it. Sad but true. Not in the middle of a tame. Don't need it. Can't cook it. Nah, it's just wasted being here. And, and force-feeding prime to an animal, I don't know if I mentioned this before, doesn't really help. If I was to force feed that prime here to Nightmare to heal Nightmare, it wouldn't heal her at all. It, it just doesn't work. Raw does, though. Raw is like 10 points per raw that you force, which is really nice. So I'll get her back up to health here a bit. And we didn't really pick up anything on this one. We did get the uh, Rexbone helmet over here, as you see. I've got like 
I had like 40 of these and I started dumping them, so I'm just going to dump it. I don't need them. <laughs> They're fun to have, but I don't need them. And I'm not wearing one, so it's not like I, I need replacements. Don't need arrows. I've got a the big storage box full of those. So didn't get much on that one. Sometimes with, with the alphas, though, you'll get really nice things like apprentice pickaxes and, and hatchets and things of that nature. So that's really cool. All right, guys, I'm back. I've left the island. Uh, I got uh, Sammy up to level 68, almost level 69, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, killed a couple of T-Rexes, a whole bunch of other saber tooths. I got really sad when I killed one of the saber tooths because it was 67, which is, I think, the maximum wild level on a 50% difficulty, a 0.5 difficulty um, session of arc, which is what I've got running here. So I was really sad when I killed it. I was like, no, and it was a female too. Uh, would have been a perfect uh, mate and a perfect tame, but uh, I just didn't think I was in the middle of a fight with a couple of saber tooth and uh, saber tooth tigers and man i just I, I had to fight for my life with sammy and uh, managed to kill them but uh, he got a couple levels off of that so good for that i guess um anyway uh, i was successful at leveling him up i'm gonna use him to get more chitin i might even take him to a cave where if i go back into it over and over again maybe i can get actual scorpions and things to spawn i hear that the uh, cave in the middle of the map uh, tends to have a lot of that uh, ability a lot of uh, i i know because i've been in there there's a lot of snakes and scorpions and things so uh, maybe I can get some, some more kite. Now, I did manage to pick some up. Uh, not a lot. I did kill a number of scorpions, so that was fun. Thank you, Nightmare, for the big poop that's going to roll off the deck here. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys had a little fun uh, coming along with me as I as I tamed uh, a saber tooth. Uh, we'll do another one maybe on camera, maybe off camera. It depends upon the opportunities and when I'm, uh, when I'm recording. So uh, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.